Um, good morning, everybody. I just want to say a quick devotional thoughts that I had from this morning because I didn't want to um, use them all in my sermon because uh, my sermon's not over Luke uh, 7 and 8. And I hope that all of you are logging into different live stream sermons today and reaching out to one another. So I read Luke 7 and 8 this morning, and uh, the first interesting little tidbit is in Luke 8, uh, 22 through 26, we have the calming of the storm where uh, the disciples and Jesus are crossing the Sea of Galilee, and the wind and the waves are just swirling about. And Jesus is asleep, and they wake him up. Master, 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 don't you care? And he says, where is your faith? And he calms the wind and the waves, um, telling them to be still. And, and the disciples are just amazed, saying, who is this that the wind and the waves would listen and obey him, that he can command? And um, so those of you who are just logging in, this is not the live stream sermon. This is just a devotional thought. Um, and... I, this story, it's neat that I'm reading it this morning because on Friday I went for a run pushing Bennett and the stroller. And those of you who remember Friday, is pretty windy. And I, so I'm running, pushing her in the stroller, and I turn. And as I turn, um, I'm telling her, hey, watch out, it's going to get really windy. And Bennett says, well, is God, is Jesus going to stop the wind? And like, we had this little confusing thing where I'm like, what? You know, Jesus healing the wind, what's going on? And then I realized Bennett had internalized the stories that we've been telling her about Jesus calming the wind and the waves. And I was able to have that discussion with her. I was like, oh yeah, you know, Jesus is powerful enough to stop the wind, isn't he? And we had this conversation while I'm pushing her uphill into the wind. And, um, it's just kind of neat, and I want to encourage you parents, like, kids will remember these stories, but don't just leave the stories as abstract stories from Scripture. Talk about the meaning of these stories, because Jesus calming the wind and the waves was a theological declaration of his power over creation. The Creator speaks and the creation listens. <clears throat> so that was really cool and really neat. Um, the next part that, uh, just from this morning's devotions, that I that really stood out to me is we see the care of Jesus. So in these stories, we have Jesus healing the centurion's child. We have Jesus stopping a funeral procession and raising a child from the dead and telling the mother, don't cry anymore. And then we have Jesus healing a uh, demoniac and then after that we have um, Jesus heals the woman who touches the hem of his robe and Jesus healing uh, Jairus' daughter and the part that I want to really just emphasize is so right now a lot of us can think about these big theological realities we can say well God's in control God is powerful, God is sovereign, you know, don't give up. But we we remove the fact that God is caring and God is loving and God is so gracious in the midst of all this. And that's what stood out to me when Jesus healed um, the woman who had been bleeding for 12 years. She touches the hem of his robe and he stops everything. He says, who touched me? And the disciples are like, Jesus, we're in the middle of a crowd. How can you know what's going on? And he's like, I felt the power going out from me. And that's what really gave me pause is right now, a lot of us could say, well, does God really care about my prayers? So many people are praying right now. So many things are going on. Could God really care about my little prayer? You know, in, in the midst of all that you could consider with the pandemic and famines that are going on in some countries and then earthquakes and fires, does God really care about my suffering and my pain? The care that Jesus has when he heals this woman. He wants to personally address her, not having some sort of 
abstract healing, not some sort of, you know, cosmic vending machine where you punch in a code and you get something out. He wants to tell this woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. And so this morning, um, it really struck me the care and the compassion and the love of God. You know, Jesus is not just a miracle worker. He's a wonderful Lord who loves. Don't forget that. The love of God is as equal to the holiness and the justice of God. And we must allow ourselves to see that full vision. And so I was encouraged this morning um, whenever I read Luke 7 and 8. I hope all of you are still reading your morning devotionals. Reach out to one another. Call, text, um, Zoom, Facebook, uh, write letters. Do what you can. Um, so I look forward to uh, preaching in uh, 70 minutes. And I hope all of you are going to um, take full advantage of a beautiful day today being socially distant, but getting out into the sun. Um, I love you all, and I'll be seeing you in 70 minutes.